Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the new skin spotlight for League of Legends. We've got quite a few to cover this time around, so let's have a look at it. First one is the first of two alternate skins right here for the new hero, Talon. This is Renegade Talon. And I don't really know what this is supposed to ape, if anything, although the face mask looks shockingly similar to one from Brink, so perhaps that was the inspiration. I'm not entirely sure. There's always a lot of speculation as to whether or not these skins are inspired by real things. Some are blatant, some not so much. But there you go, that one. A little bit of sportswear on that one, as you can very clearly see. And there is another one. This one's a little bit more tied into the lore. This is Crimson Elite Talon, if you actually care about the lore within League of Legends. Somewhat more ostentatious, I have to say, than the last one. Now, the Crimson Elite is the Noxian version of the Commando set which is, of course, the Damasian heroes. There are apparently going to be an awful lot more of these skins coming forward with this sort of theme. So if you're looking for something a little bit grander, there you go. But personally, I don't really see that fitting a stealth assassin too much. It's far too garish. But hey, there you go. Okay. Let's move on to the one and only Skarna. Skarna came out a couple of weeks ago. I was really busy, so I wasn't able to cover the Skarna skins, but this is the first one. That is Sand Scourge Skarna, which in my opinion is the laziest of them. It's basically Skarna with a gradient fill over it. Can't say I'm a huge fan of that one. If there were one to avoid, I think it would be that one. In my personal subjective opinion, that actually looks even worse than the default skin, so I wouldn't perhaps recommend that. But he does have a really groovy dance, as you can see right there. I need to give this guy a try, bring you a first impressions video of him. Whatever the case, the other skin is much, much better in my opinion. I've got it coming up right now. This is Earthrune Skarna. Now, there's a lot more detail put into this, as well as the fact that they have remodeled certain areas of it. So this is not a lazy skin at all. This looks fantastic in my opinion. And it actually reminds me a little bit of something straight out of Rise of Legends. You remember that one from Big Huge Games? Whatever the case, much more detailed skin. A lot better in my honest opinion. That's the one I would go for if I were looking for something a little bit different for Skarna. Okay, let's move on, shall we? Because there are a few assorted skins available for various different champions that we haven't covered yet. And we're playing a bit of catch-up from the last couple of weeks of busyness. So, we're going to move on right here to a skin that some of you should be aware of. That will be, of course, Demolisher Nunu, which is a very cool skin for Nunu, as far as I'm concerned. You will notice that... The Yeti actually has a joystick on its head this time around, so it's a little bit teched up. I'm also noticing some American Army signs on the shoulder pads. I'm not really sure what this is actually supposed to represent, if I'm totally honest. It looks like a very early model Iron Man, but I don't know. Whatever the case, it is quite the nice skin. They've obviously put a lot of detail into it. I'm liking the executive chair in the back as well. That's good stuff. Okay, let's move on to yet another skin for Garen, and that is, of course, Rugged Garen. If you're tired of Garen looking ridiculous in all that getup, this is a very understated skin, and as a result, I would probably prefer using this one. It's got quite a lot of detail in it, but it's not over the top, whereas all of the other Garen skins pretty much have been in one respect or another. Very kind of Highlander-esque, and also, I believe this is very similar in looks and aesthetic to the main character from the original Fable. Don't know what else it's actually supposed to represent, but there you go. Spin to win, folks, on that one. And last but by no means least, we've got a Dragon Slayer Vein, which is another Dragon Slayer skin. You'll note that Jarvan Fourth also has that one as well. It's a theme going along with that. Now, Jarvan the Fourth's was very, very similar to some of the items you can get in the Monster Hunter games. I have to wonder if this is the same kind of thing. Also, this does look quite similar to some of the armor sets available in World of Warcraft. Whatever the case, it's obviously inspired by a variety of different sources. All of those skins currently available for 975 riot points each. My name has been Total Biscuit, and I will see you next time.